all yeah rivers here with some cool tech and today i'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your minix neo x7 so first you'll download the file and i'll put links in the description down below you're going to right click the file and choose extract here and extract it to the folder make sure you know where that folder is this will give you the firmware the rock chip utility and the usb drivers okay now we're ready to put the x7 into flash mode so first you can connect the power and nothing will happen until you hit the power button. So go ahead and plug that right in. Next, you're gonna use the included USB cable. Make sure it's the one with the extra long micro USB tip. And finally, you're gonna use a paper clip in the hole marked recovery, hold it down, and while you're holding it down, press the power button for about two to three seconds. If you hear your computer ding, your X7 should now be in flash mode. At this point, you'll need to install the USB drivers if you haven't had a new quad core amp on your computer before. If a new hardware wizard pops up, Choose Browse and Browse to the location of the USB drivers. Choose the right version for the version of Windows that you have. If a new hardware wizard does not pop up, you can go to Device Manager and update the USB drivers and choose Browse that way as well. After the driver install, I would recommend rebooting your computer. After the reboot, you can put it back in flash mode, open the rock chip utility, and if you see the green square here, you know you're connected correctly. Now you need to find the image by clicking the little box with the line in it after path and browse to the image file that was extracted from the zip file. Choose open and now your file is ready to go. You just want to hit restore at the bottom. Don't hit upgrade, make sure and hit restore. This is going to erase all the data on your X7, all your pictures, all your apps, they'll all be erased and you'll start with a fresh install. Most of the time when people can't connect, it's because they didn't install the right drivers. They plugged it in when it wasn't in flash mode and Windows automatically installed the Windows drivers. You must plug it in when it's in flash mode and then point it to the drivers that came with it. Windows will not automatically find those drivers. Again, once you've installed the rock chip drivers to check if it worked, open up the rock chip utility and see if that square turns green. Also, this is how to install the firmware from the factory. If you want to install a finless ROM, it's slightly different. You'll enter flash mode the same, install the USB drivers the same, but the custom ROM utility is slightly different. Okay guys, I'll put links to the latest firmware in the description down below. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. They'll help me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be the first to see my new videos when they come out. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, aloha.